Hi, Dan the Unknown here. Hope you're all doing well. So before I get into the video that I'm going to be making today, between this video and the time I did my last video, I have reached my one year anniversary, if you will, of uploading my first video to YouTube. And though my channel is still pretty small, I'm very thankful for everybody who's subscribed, who's sent encouragement and support and constructive criticism and kind words to me over the last year. And I also want to just say to everybody who's made snotty, shitty comments just to be an asshole, I'm not going to bother wasting my time addressing you all because it doesn't matter what you think anyway, so. Anyways, thanks to everybody else who've been kind and let's get to the video. So today I'm going to be doing a retro review on a 2010 Ibanez S570B. This guitar comes with a mahogany body, bolt-on, maple, wizard, th uh, wizard 2 neck with a rosewood fretboard. It's got these funky inlays, which I think they only use for a couple of years on certain S-series guitars. 24 jumbo frets, according to... Um, Ibanez, Wiki, whatever it's called. It's got a 15 and 3 quarter inch radius fretboard. And let's see what else. Oh, it's got the ZR Zero Resistance Trem. It's also got, probably can't see it, but it's also got the stabilizer in the back on this one. It also has a shielded control cavity. I bought this used uh, around this time 2019 for a project that never ended up coming to fruition. So it kind of just sat for a while and about two or three weeks ago I pulled it out and put new strings on and cleaned it up and uh, gonna test her out do a review and decide if I'm going to keep it or not. I did not have a cavity cover when I got this as I got it used. So, But I paid $400 for this shipped. It's still got the factory pickups in it which is the INF2 in the bridge, an INF1 in the neck, and an INS, scratch that. INF S1 in the middle position. So let's hear how it sounds and I'll give you my review. I'm going to do some clean sounds first and then some heavier distorted sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that's my 2010 Ibanez S570B. Uh, I like this guitar quite a bit. I'm going to hold on to it for a little longer and play it some more and see if I want to keep it. It's The fretwork on it's pretty good, even though the jumbo frets, I'm not a big fan of those. I prefer mediums, but it's not a deal breaker. Uh, pickup sounded pretty good. Bridge stays in tune really well. Um, it kind of has a Kaler bridge feel to me, more than a Floyd. Um, if you don't know, this here loosens and tightens the tension on the springs inside. Kind of like screwing in the trem claw on a regular tremolo system. But yeah. If I do decide to keep this, I'll be hunting for another one to do B standard tuning on. Alright, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Later.